Another week, another exciting episode of Kamiya's number one infotainment show, Hot and Juicy, with me, Miss Bang. Hope you guys are doing incredibly well and that you're ready to be informed and entertained. If that's the case, then take the best position wherever you're watching me and let's get it popping with the first segment of this program. Coming up right away, guys. Go away. I'll be right back. guys biggest is in two the revolution is finally here and the winning price is 15 million francs cfa after news circulating about biggie 237 being cancelled the entry party finally held at the yapaki snack bar in bonamusadi and to all those who supported the news guys check this out <laughs> The first season was highly criticized last year. A lot of people complained about the poor infrastructure, some complaints about limited cameras, poor lightning, poor sound, limited food. I don't want to talk about the fire incidents which happened in the kitchen. This season, we have noticed a lot of changes. The infrastructure looks 10 times better. We have enough space, cameras, and lightning isn't that bad. And so far, nobody's complaining, not forgetting the choices of contestants. It's a wow, guys. The Revolution season features celebrity contestants like Shaw Yo, we have Noni White, we have the one and only Fish. Wait a minute. How did Fish get into the house? I mean, nobody saw this coming, not after the recent scandals he's been facing. Should we say uh, this is going to be, or uh, this is a therapy for fish? Check the ambience at the house, guys. Nobody feeling my pain the time where I be the walk the bambi. They should know for corner, they chuk chuk talk them. Say, I know go point it. I come over quarter with different kind of philosophy. They say, I can be. Normally, I be in a bag of the winner, be even second to the function. Eh? Hey. Gabagi small like Kulumbang. Face down, tanga like Krang Krang. All the other men against swag for street, and they men a lang sang, lang sang. Oh my god, this season will be fire. If you are not watching it, then you're going to be missing out something very important. And by the way, we wish Biggie the best together with all the contestants and let the drama begin. The internet went red after Canada dropped its nomination list. The list packed up a lot of controversies as fans, artists, comedians threw shit at it, saying the list was not made out of merit and to some extent said it was bias. We have a lot of great artists, comedians, music and movie producers who put in a lot of work this past year but were snubbed by the nomination list. The Anglophone community felt marginalized again as only few of them were nominated and reactions to this were insane guys this is what petit pays had to say canada ça fait trois ans qu'ils font leur, leur histoire j'aurais dit que moi je leur ai dit que je ne viens pas là bas jamais j'attends voir si bon ça me peut-être dans dix ans peut-être canada jamais ça où qu'on dise petit pays mais rien dit la nègre disque d'or et tout 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 ils ont quel critère pour pour cet édifice là ils sont de qui pour dire ça canada moi jamais ça wow as for daphne she said and i quote I will probably be nominated every day of my life, probably. Do I deserve it? Yes. Will I always win? No. I will even be embarrassed to win sometimes. Sometimes, organizers might even put the name Daphne in a category for added value to call your attention to vote for the people you want to win. For the first time, I genuinely feel like other people worked harder to win. If you feel your favorite or one of my colleagues deserve to win, vote for them. Besides, I have another nomination. Wow, that's so cool of Daphne. Meanwhile, video director Ada Akenji was harsh in his reaction. And this is what he said, I quote, You don't have to be a magician to recognize the art and work that Magasco has shown us all in two years. Not nominated is a serious mistake. Therefore, I will not be at Canal Door this year. Thanks to the organizers for nominating me, but I won't be there if Magasco isn't here. 
Wow, did you guys hear that? Guys, what are your thoughts to all those reactions? Is it that the award is really biased or is it our artist not putting in enough work? Anyway, whatever the case may be, we have the Cameroon Film Festival which introduced their own awards, nominating all the artists who were snubbed by the Canal d'Or. Could this be a clap back to the Canal d'Or, guys? Les choses à vérifier, question de temps. Cameroonian rapper Vasero Feast of the Zenith, making him the very first Cameroonian to have a sold-out concert at this mythic hall of Paris. The concert was endorsed by the presence of Cameroonian politician Maurice Camto. Zenith has a 7,300 capacity and Vasero's ticket fee was 89 euros, giving us an estimated sum of 58,000 francs CFA. Now, if we multiply this with the 7,300 seats, we will have the whooping sum of 423,400,000 francs CFA. Wow, that's huge. That's huge. And I feel like asking you guys, what should our other Cameroonian rappers learn from this? Anyways, this is how the concert went down. More updates on Tila's depression. Two days ago, she revealed being raped by her uncle at the age of 13. So, on one of her posts, she shared the photo of her rapist, revealing this. Here is the photo of the man who took away my innocence. His name is Victor Tamba. I'm tired of sacrificing my happiness and freedom by hiding the truth in fear of hurting my family, especially my cousins, his children. I am sorry, not sorry. Free at last. No to rape, no to domestic violence. Wow, what a revelation. Another female artist victim of rape. I remember sometimes back Daphne revealed being uh, raped when she was still a child. What's happening here? The shocking part of this revelation is the reaction of fans, especially females. Some of us can be so mean. Why do some internet users feel they must always have a say in everything? Someone reveals being victim of rape and all we have to do is show total disrespect to the person's feeling. Was that right? Tila needs us and I really like the shout out Daphne gave her on her status by posting her with the caption, Superwoman. These are the kind of things we need. These are the kind of things that make someone heal faster. And dear Tila, you have all my support and I pray you heal faster from whatever thing you're going through. Cameroon wins 2021 Women's Volleyball African Championship. Can we put our hands together for that? Our female volleyball team won Kenya 3-1, making them winners of the African Volleyball Championship, which held in Rwanda's capital city of Kigali. That was last Sunday, guys. This makes Cameroon three times champions of this title, meaning we are now qualified together with Kenya for the 2022 Volleyball Women's World Championship, which is going to take place in Poland and in Netherlands. I can't wait, guys. On our international showbiz scene, we have Nigerian artist Rema, who features on FIFA 2022 soundtrack for the second time running. On the other hand, we have Rizkid, who now equals legendary fellas record as his album Made in Lagos spends 45 weeks on Billboard. Check out Ghanaian actor Maji Michael licking his fingers over the famous Cameroonian meal Acho. A true Cameroonian delicacy recipe. Achu is such a delicacy. And that's all we have for the first segment of this program, guys. Thank you so very much for still watching. If you're here for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It is time for us to have it more entertaining with our top 10 Cameroonian songs this week. Guys, go nowhere. I'll be right back just after this. Welcome back guys, check out our number 10 video of the week coming straight away from Chi. The title of the song is Tom Cruise, watch and enjoy. Popping up at the ninth position, we have this beautiful song titled Momo Me from 
pop sweet zeal. Girls nowadays know the thing good at all. They head all the day in a full club. Party all night then drink alcohol. Drink alcohol. Wake up for sharp they don't them na full floor. I did only. Popping up at the 8th position is this beautiful song from King Kum featuring Kosi. The song is titled Reserve. Well, hey. Reserve. Coming up at the seventh position is this brand new collab song from Fresh Guy featuring Happy De Fulan and Avero Jess, and it is titled One Ensemble. On the sixth position, we have this beautiful song from Dynastilo Tigre featuring the legendary Ben Deka. The song is titled C'est doucement. Popping up at the fifth position is this beautiful song from Vivid Smith titled My Story. You must hear my case. He know that bad money don't they show. I must to call my men them. Occupying the fourth position is this collab song coming straight away from Yolanda featuring Tizi Panchak and it is titled In My Heart. And number 10 video of the week is a brand new smashing release from talented Cameroonian artist Renew. <laughs> Casanova from Cameroonian artist Believe featuring Ivorian artist Aria Shini occupies the second position. Topping our playlist on this episode is this beautiful song titled And They See Coming Straight Away from the Very Talented Local. Watch and enjoy, guys. You know, hey. Comme une impression que les anges chantent plus. On est d'accord que lorsque. That's all we have for the top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week. It is time for us to have the pick of the week coming up right away. Welcome on Pick of the Week, Cameroonian social media sensation Coco Emilia aka Biscuit de Mer shared a photo of her two weeks old baby Sophie with her fans on the internet and the remarks towards the poor baby are insane saying the baby is ugly. See eh, some of us our frustration has no limit. No limit at all guys. And this is where we draw the curtains for today's exciting episode of your favorite show hot and juicy. Thank you so very much guys for being part of us. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the notification button. Tell me what you think about all the gifs I just said here in the comment section. Don't forget to share, comment too guys. I'll be right back next week with so much more. And for more information on the Cameroon entertainment industry, stick to us. We are on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, and very much active on our website. It's 237 Showbiz. And make sure you're part of us on Telegram. It's 237 Showbiz. And follow our new TV show, 237 Showbiz Studios. I'll be right back next week with so much more guys. Do have a great week. If you multiply this with the 7,300 seats, we will have the whooping sum of 